what's up so as most of you know i'm currently living in japan and there's just something about um you living in a foreign country that makes you fall in love with who you are in every aspect of your being so by me living in japan has made me fall more in love with the fact that i'm south african and with the fact that i choose to culturally identify myself as colored and i fall i'm falling more in love with identifying myself as a christian as a believer of my lord and savior jesus christ and i am just obviously falling more and more in love with jesus so all of us are obviously aware of wade winning as a gold medal for um, the 400 meters and there's been a buzz well some good buzzes some bad buzzes and this is just my opinion like i really don't care if you agree if you don't um or if you disagree this is literally my opinion and this is how i feel so in japan uh I'm obviously constantly around Japanese people and then I'm constantly around Americans, some people from New Zealand, some people from Australia. And with most of them, I'm literally the first South African that they have met. And uh, amongst the things that most of them say, they always say, oh, you're from South Africa, so I know Nelson Mandela, or they mention apartheid. And as soon as I say that I'm from Pretoria, all of them say, oh yeah, that's where that um, athlete who shot his girlfriend lives do you live close to him that's literally what they ask me and another thing that they also say is um oh south africa yeah i know that country apparently it's not safe so obviously you south africans you know that that is um a bit irritating that that's all that people know but it's also sort of what the media puts out there and the stereotypes that uh the media shows out there for the rest of the world to see so i'm so proud of wade and now this is another name and another person that represents our country that represents colored people and that represents christians in a huge manner and when i say his name i can say his name proudly and people in japan and americans know who, who he is and if they don't i literally take out my phone and i show them and i go on youtube and i was like this is who wade is he literally beat an american what take that anyway so obviously him winning this him winning the medal means a lot for south africans because as i said now he's putting our name on the map and it's obviously something that again can bring unity among the people and just the mere fact that people didn't expect him to win that he was in the eighth lane like against all odds he did it and nothing can nothing can take it away from him for the fact that he's south african so i'm proud 110 percent proud of that but to me personally i'm even more proud of the fact that he is a colored person and it's just about um what it represents to me and colored people the mere fact that like i said people abroad see south africa a certain way and it's just because of what media portrays now in the very same light in our country unfortunately colored people are portrayed a certain way and uh, there are stereotypes that goes with that culture slash race i use that word loosely because to me being colored isn't just a race but it's a culture as well so um being colored has a lot of uh, negative stereotypes and um the fact that that's what wade is breaking to show that yes i am colored but i've also accomplished something great in my life and not all colored people are the same and we too are a representative are, are representatives of our country and i've done community work obviously um in colored communities and many times both girls and boys when uh, i do any form of motivational speaking most of them 
don't understand or even think it is nearly possible for them to achieve what they want to achieve because they are colored and because they are brought up in a society where being colored um, is negative. So Wade didn't just bring hope to South Africans, but he brought hope to colored people, to that boy who's, whose dad or, or mom is on tech, to that little girl who, who got raped in her neighborhood, to the mother who works day in and day out to provide ends meet for her children, to the little girl who goes to a township school but has the potential of being the next Albert Einstein, to every single teacher that believes in their kids but yet because of the circumstances that they live in or because of the notion of being colored acts as a hindrance that is what wade represents wade is a beacon of hope for colored people and i'm so proud to say that he is representing us and if people get angry because of the, um, the hashtag colored excellence or proudly colored, I don't understand why us celebrating one of our, our own. He is yours and he's ours as well. Just like, for example, my if I have to achieve something, my extended family will be happy, but my immediate family will be even more proud because it's clo it's it's closer it's more uh, immediate and it's more connected so just see it that way like don't get offended for nothing it's really stupid that you're getting offending offended for people uh, saying hashtag colored excellence like you are the extended family but we're the immediate family and it really isn't racist in us being proud of our culture and us being proud of someone representing our culture because as far as I know, according to the dictionary that I have, being racist is when you discriminate against someone because of their race or you think you are more superior than another race. Now, by saying we are proudly colored, we are proud that he's representing colored people and he brings colored excellence. In no means are we discriminating against colored people or are we discriminating against any other race in no means are we saying that we are superior to other people we are just saying we are grateful we are proud and we celebrate you and we honor you from our community for being a great example also if we say that nelson mandela is the first or was the first black president of south africa if we are allowed to say that why can't we say that wade is a beacon of hope for the colored people. If it is racist for us to say that Wade is a beacon of hope for the colored people, it should be equally as racist to say that Nelson Mandela was the first black president of South, Af South Africa. Then we should change it then. Like it, like it really doesn't make sense for you to say that we are racist. Then, thirdly, I just wanna say, as someone who's Christian, um, it inspires me so much to know that we are obviously only seeing the end well not really like the end but this big moment but god has walked this journey with him from the very minute that he was born um all odds were against him and he wasn't supposed to make it but yet god came through and god showed up and god protected him and allowed him to walk onto this earth his mom as we all know Never had the opportunity to run and represent the country because of our birthday. But God's word says in Joel that God will restore to you what the locust has taken. And it's, I just want to glorify God and just um, edify him to say that how wonderful that, it, that is. And that Wade's life and this journey is a representation that whatever happened in your past, whatever you should have received that you didn't receive, whether it's um, happened to your mom or your dad or to you. God will restore what is yours and he will restore it seven times better. Also, God's word says that 
Whatever you do, do it as if you are honoring God and you're bringing all glory to Him. Whether it's going to work, uh, whether it's doing your homework, whether it's doing something that your boss did, whatever you do, honor God. And I want to honor Wade for honoring God and for doing it so loudly and so boldly. I just want to thank you for that. Thank you for being proudly South African, for being proudly colored, and for being proudly Christian. And the haters are going to hate Dala what you must.